All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you daily horoscope for Tuesday, the 16th of March, 2021. This day is all about illumination, seeing things clearly through the fog. All right. We've got the sun at 26 degrees of Pisces, creating a sextile, easy flow of energy up there to Pluto at 26 degrees of Capricorn. All right. It's about transcendence, transcending beyond our physical and connecting with the spiritual world, right? Coming from that place of being able to see not just the forest, not just the woods, not just the jungle, but that uh, the spirit of the forest, right? And using this awareness and knowledge uh, collectively to transcend beyond what we just see what is, okay? Now we've got the moon moving out of the sign of Aries into the sign of Taurus. And the moon here today is also creating a sextile over here to Mercury. It's zero degrees of Pisces, something we talked about yesterday, right? This is uh, the collective coming together to offer the gifts, the knowledge, the sharing of what each individual and as a group have put together, okay? So this is this crystal clear mountain river, okay? Untouched by human hands. There's no uh, debris, there's no clutter, there's no uh, litter, no trash, okay? This beautiful, pure kind of mountain spring, all right? So not only are we dealing with this sense of illumination and transcendence going on here with death uh, of the old, of Pluto, death of what was, death of how we used to govern ourselves or a way that we used to see things just as literal or, uh, um, you know, if you can't touch, taste, smell, see it, then it doesn't exist, right? Well, we all know as we deal with astrology, there's, there's many layers, okay? So we have the ego mind that sometimes clouds and gets in the way, gets in the way and judges things, all right? That's all this beautiful Pisces energy is helping alleviate us getting out of the ego mind and seeing things for the potential of what they could be, as well as seeing that spirit that kind of rolls through all things. Okay, so this crystal clear river, all right? So we have this opportunity here, Mercury, connecting with the moon, and that sextile, again, those sextiles are easy flow between two different energies. Here we have Pisces and Taurus. Here we have Pisces and Capricorn, okay? So we have this uh, mutable water energy, which means it goes with the flow of things, dealing again with our dreams, our, our imagination, our creativity, applying that dreams, uh, imagination, that creativity to the physical world, right? And then as the day moves on, it's not going to be till the very end of the day, but it's energy we're going to be feeling. And this, we, we talk about this every month, is when the moon meets up with Uranus. Now this is happening at, you know, midnight, Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. But wherever you are at, you know, uh, this will line up for us at different times of the day, of course. So this conjunction here is extremely important. We're going to talk about it today instead of tomorrow. As this conjunction here, Moon and Uranus, Uranus is shaking things free. Okay. This is us being able to celebrate in dark hours, in dark times, to illuminate light, right? All about illumination today. So we're illuminating light in dark times, okay, where things are up for great change. And so much is changing with Uranus and Taurus, changing of tradition, changing of the past, changing of what was, creating a new future on what is going to be, okay? And the many hands that work together to create that future, the many hands that come together, these great minds that bring this knowledge forward that help us to transcend into this light, okay? Where this here, Chiron, also starting to create a sextile over there to Mars. Mars creating a semi-sextile over here to the Moon and Uranus. It's one degree off, but it's still making that connection. Okay, so Mars creating the sextile over here to Chiron. Now, this is an easy flow between fire and air. Okay, different elements. 
this is about destruction, right? So earth and water is about creation. Fire, air is destruction. Uh, destroying that old concept, the old concept or old ways of living. Okay, so how all of these come into a play, and we're going to be, although this happens at midnight, you know, and, and the energy of Mars and Uranus and Chiron are going to still persist into Wednesday and into Thursday. Okay, talking about them now is our emotional moon meets up here and makes these connections with all three of these planets or the asteroid, you know, planet again just means wanderer. All right, so this is like the crystal gazer. Eight degrees of Aries, okay? Once again, is it's transcending beyond human ego and seeing that crystal ball, okay? And, and, and looking at that, uh, this crystal gazing in a sense of, of, of interpretation, just like reading this chart here, and seeing something clearly, seeing something as a whole, and allowing an interpretation to come in. So when we, we uh, separate a bit from our own egos, separate from, again, of what we can touch, taste, smell, see, and hear as being concrete forms of life and not seeing the flow, you know, that Pisces is teaching us, okay? Uh, so seeing, you know, prosperity in dark times and seeing the light in dark times and coming together in a community to create this beautiful light, okay? And, and allowing ourselves to move into that unknown where Mars wants to discover, discover new truth, discover truth, what is real, right? Something that like we talked about yesterday, just because cause you feel it doesn't mean it's there. Just because we're feeling potentially uh, dark times doesn't mean that the sun's not shining, you know, shining somewhere, it's shining its light. Okay, so it's reminding us that there is hope, allowing. Okay, so Mars is our planet of action the acceleration, the foot on the gas pedal. And it's saying, let's move forward into this place of new self-discovery. Let's move forward into seeing beyond the physical. Let's, let's interpret uh, what we can of, of the intuition or the insight that comes into us and, and heal these parts of the ego that limit us from allowing us to unfold, allowing us to move beyond what was into what is. A single bar can be a prison if we hold on to it long enough, right? So this, the, the moon meeting up with Uranus, the great awakener, okay, the, the great shaker, the, you know, uh, uh, the, the volcanic eruption, the aha moments, the eureka moments, the earthquake. It's like if the earthquake didn't happen, then this boulder wouldn't have fallen and, and we discover a cave. You know, if, if this volcano didn't erupt from beneath the surface of the waters, we wouldn't have the Hawaiian Islands, okay? So this is like seeing the beauty, the potential beauty of what is coming out of seemingly chaos. So whatever chaos is going on in our lives, you know, it, it's, it's trying to look past that, that breaking point, that, that moment of everything's falling apart and seeing that really everything's falling together just in a different way than maybe our own ego minds had intended it to be. You know, there is some grand design happening here. And, and we can look back in our lives and see where the universe has been preparing us for wherever we're at right now. You know, a lesson we might have learned in high school, in our childhood, uh, some, some skill that we potentially have learned along the way that almost seems like it didn't have a purpose in our lives, that we just learned this skill. We might be discovering in our lives now that this skill can be used or the knowledge uh, that, that we gained at one point many, many, many years ago is now coming into fruition where we can gain uh, or we can take this knowledge and use it productively in our lives in a current way. So this is a sense of discovery and how we can utilize some of these tools. And again, moving beyond the physical, moving beyond what our own ego mind limits us to thinking and expressing and seeing the light in the dark tunnels. All right. So there's definitely a sense of emotional stability as the moon moves throughout Taurus, as, as the moon is exalted in Taurus, but as the day progresses and moves closer and closer to Uranus, that instability kind of enters in. And we've been dealing with so much about releasing things, releasing stuff from our past that no longer serve us in order to move into this new territory. Okay, And that's part of Uranus's job here in Taurus. And the emotional 
stability that comes in with the moon in Taurus and then meeting up with Uranus is always every month. It's, it's almost like a kicker where it's saying find comfort, find stability in the ever expanding, ever changing aspects of our lives and finding a way to utilize some of these skills, some of the knowledge that we may have uh, gained in the past to apply them to gain stability in the ever-changing, unknowing future that's unfolding before us. All right, my friends, it's a beautiful day, as always. Thank you for hanging out with me. We'll see you tomorrow.